はい、えー、皆さんこんにちは、ゆうです。Hey guys, this is you from the Coffee Fukuoka channel.So we'll be talking about the grinder today.So what I'll be specifically talking about is、um, a secret tip of、um, how you can adjust the dials using the k a l i t a n XG. I'm not sure if this tip works for other drippers,、uh, other、um, grinders. But it does work for the next G, so this will pretty much be only for the next G.、Um, so let me show you guys. So, first, we'll be using this minus driver. So, you take off the screw. So, we'll be taking off the cover of the,、um, the, the grinder. So, you can see this、um, white little thing, white little dial、um, that has been uncovered. So, all you need to do is rotate this to adjust the dials even further. So, right now,、um, the dial is at the tightest it can be. So, I'm setting it at the tightest, meaning that the grinds are going to be the smallest. So, as you can see, I am now、um, making this even.、Um, I'm making. I'm sort of loosening up the dial, which means that the coffee grinds are going to now get bigger and bigger the more that I do this. So, first, I'll show you guys.、Um, I've made this pretty loose. I'm going to show you guys what kind of coffee grind that you can get、uh, from this. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's pretty. You can see how big the coffee beans are. So, now what we'll be doing is we will be tightening this dial. Getting a little bit, it's getting a little bit smaller. So we're gonna make this even tighter. So, so now it's starting to become more of、um, the French press grind size. So, we're gonna now make it even, um, even uh, tighter. So now we're getting really, really close to the pour over grind size, about that much. So we're gonna make it even more tighter.
So now it's getting really, really fine. It can even be, it can even pass for a siphon coffee. Okay, so we're gonna make it even finer. Um, now this is gonna probably go to uh, very close to like an espresso. So be careful of the funny noise that comes out when you make it too tight. Um, try and release it a little bit um, if it's a bit too tight. So guys, let's check out the grinds. So this is the one that I first um, that I first grinded. As you can see, it's it's pretty much coffee. <laughs> it hasn't been ground. So then the next, after tightening it, and then after tightening that as well, it's pretty much the same. I guess when the dial is too loose, um, it doesn't really change that much. So after tightening it a little bit more, you can see that it's become a little bit more coarser and a bit more like like French press, but not quite there yet. So now you've gone to um, the grind, which is a bit more, it's, it's a bit finer than French press, but maybe not there at the pour over level, but still, it's still as good. So as you can see now, it's after tightening it even more, it's super fine. It's very, very fine. Now the last, the finale, is this one here. So this is really really fine and you can actually use this probably as an espresso. So I usually use it at this area for to make my um, Bialetti uh, espresso. However, you have to be careful because this grinder is not made for, um, it's not made for espresso. So when you try and do what I did with you know making the dial super tight, you have to be careful because if you're using dark roast, the um, the powder is going to become wet, the grinds are going to become wet, and they're going to stick to the machine, and you'll have a terrible time cleaning it up later. So guys, um, what I wanted to actually show you guys today is how just changing the dial, um, and that's this or this wheel, can really you know make can really give you so many different variations of the grind sizes and um, I would suggest is that if you do buy a Kalita Next G all you need to do is just keep me uh, messing around with the dial and see which is the best grind size for you because there's no real answer to which grind size is the best like some people might say that a finer grind is better for French press and a coarser, and some people might say, no, a coarser grind is better for French press. Um, you know, so uh, you don't really know which one is the best. So the only way you can find out which one is the best is by trying out the different grind sizes using the dial, you know, and then seeing, oh, which one tastes really good when you have which grind size. So pretty much all you need to do is just, you know, rotate the dials and then find the best grind size. So if you're done with it, all you need to do then is just put on the cap, make sure it's, you see the dials on top, and then just put it and then screw on the, I just put on the screw. So um, basically when you're putting the cap, the lid on, um, the lid, the finest place is the one that sort of fits into the, the dial. So if you know which section um, which applies to the finest grind for in your in your measurement in your metrics basically um, then that's fine you can just you you can just do it like that so in my case I set the dial to the tightest and then I put this the fine side 
directly onto um, onto the grinder. I place the lid there. Now I just place the screw. And then I just place it. I I make sure that it's um it's properly like it's probably screwed on and then that's it. Then I can just move this around. So if you buy the Kalita Next G and um, you want to mess around with the dials even more, meaning you want something a lot finer and you want something a lot coarser, then I would suggest that you actually um, you ch you you move the dials around the secret met the secret way basically. Alright guys, um, I hope you were able to take a lot out of this video. Um, this only applies pretty much to the Kaliton XG. I'm not really sure about the other grinders because I haven't used them. Um, so, yeah, this I would only recommend that you do it with the NextG. Um, yeah. Alright guys, I will see you in the next coffee video. See you!